be following me. Well, hello. You join us. When I say us, I mean us. Me, Pip and Tink. You join us sweating in the woods. We'll go this way, Pip, shall we? Yeah. Um, it's near the end of the school holidays and we are out for a camp together at a father and daughter time. And we're just wandering in a new spot for me. It's a beautiful woodland, but we're kind of just wandering aimlessly, looking for somewhere that feels right. And uh, I feel like I'm getting a little bit lost. Uh, uh. Oh, there's a clearing here, Pip. This might be nice. Oh. <laughs> Tink's in a tangle. I've got to keep Tink on the lead most of this trip because there are cows roaming about. Come on, darling. There are cows roaming about and uh, I don't want Tink to cause any trouble. This is nice here, isn't it? What do we think? Yeah. Sunsetting over there. Over that. <laughs> Pip wants the uh, wants the big sleeping bag, so she has to carry it, <laughs> and it weighs a ton. Yeah. Uh, should we go that way a little bit more? Ow. Yeah. And uh, just put our stuff down over there somewhere. Wait, is that Stamos? Stamos. Eh? Stamos. Stamos. Yeah. It hurts up a lot. Wait, no, this one. Stamos hurts. It's prickly. Oh, is it? Yeah. Touch it. No! <laughs> feel it, feel it. Is it prickly? Ow. It's not too prickly. What were you thinking of then? Are you thinking of sphagnum moss? The one that's that you can wash with and wash dishes? Yeah. Yeah, I think there is some of that probably closer to the river. Yeah, you can wash yourself with it and it soaks up a lot. Yeah. It soaks up a its own weight and then it's like a sponge so as soon as it gets that much like too much it just like, yeah. everywhere We're going to stay here. I'm going to hang the jump up. I'm going to be mad. I like this area. Yeah, I like it too. Put my bag over here. Oh, it's really bugging me that I can't remember what that's called. Oh, I hate that. I bet you in seven days you're going to find it out. <laughs> and then you're just going to shout it as soon as you know it. <laughs> Clematis. Clematis. That's what's growing there. I think this is Clematis. I think it's still alive, but this is quite old. And you've got all this kind of stuff here that will make a nice tinder. And a good good dog uh, stand. But yeah, I don't see wild Clematis much. It's growing right at the top of this tree. Which is still alive, so I think we're okay. Yeah, there's loads of it on the floor. So we'll use a bit of that later. Right, so what do we say? That tree to... This one to that. To that one. Okay, yeah, let's do that. <coughs> so what we're doing is... Um, Pip's going to hammock camp and I'm going to ground dwell. And so... We're going to put a tarp up with the hammock under it and my bed underneath the hammock. So we're going to bunk bed it in the woods. But yeah, I'm going to clear 
some of the debris away and start setting it all up. You're right there. <laughs> I'm in a fight with it. Stay. So if you do uh, on any of these, if you clear that big log and any sort of big twigs out of the way, I'll get the bits out. Ground. Mm. I'll leave that where it is. Ow. I'll slip at that end. All right. Yeah, it's scary. Yeah, it's scary. Goodbye, Mr. Lee. Yeah, just just flick away the worst of the worst of anything hard, and spiky. All right. I got my essentials today. Teddy bear. Cobweb in the face. <laughs> this tink's big lead. straps for the hammock which just help protect the tree a little bit It's not an expensive hammock by any stretch. Um, uh, it'll do the job. around the back of the tree. in that to make it a bit bigger. <laughs> and sit in this, see if it's the right height. Sit your bum, it'll lower as you get in. Just sit your bum. Oh, I like this. Yeah? Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Lay flat. Like this? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, I like this. Let's get a tarp over the top of us. 
<gasps> Yay, top. You want to carry on breaking up twigs? Yeah. I'm just finding random twigs on the floor. Bum, bum, bum. Right. Perfect, it was made for it. <laughs> Three inches of paracord to spare. So we can stand up in. Well, definitely me. Yeah. <laughs> That's okay, isn't it? Happy with that? Big enough? I might even sleep at the back there, which is some smoky bits, but. Yeah, there's That's another okay. bit down there somewhere which I covered up with leaves. But it still hurts. Okay, I'm going to give the handful one last test. Yeah. So we're. Um, we're about set up, pegged out the back, tied up to a couple of trees. I think we forecast for rain in the morning, so uh, I wanted to have a big area to be dry under. And, um, and we're good to go. I'm going to get my bedding out and stuff in a while. Nope. <laughs> what did you do? He sat on it. What happened? It went down. <laughs> that was scary. Okay, so I could retie the hammock <laughs> and then I gather some firewood. Six o'clock, yeah. I get a fire going and get some dinner on. I've got a bit more sticks. Pip's been gathering the wood for us. Um, I have a bunch. <laughs> little twigs and things. I just need to saw up a couple of logs. We don't really need a fire for heat, we just need enough to cook on so we can dig a little hole because it is summer and it's, although we've had a lot of rain, it's still quite dry. Thanks, so I'm going to dig a big hole for the fire to go in, make a pot hanger 
and um, hang our dinner up. It's nice here. Deadwood that's standing up, but just not on the ground. Like, you see that? The bits of land touching the ground will be wet, but it's sticking up will be okay. Mm. Okay. Pip's doing the twigs. I'm going to dig a little hole. Okay then. Oh. So we've dug down past the root system into the actual topsoil, which is this kind of grey brown grey. It's this grey soil, it's not brown. It's grey, and uh, so that we're not burning sort of roots and things. And uh, we'll leave that there in a pile so that we can put it out when we're done and bury it. That will do us. This was the clematis I was talking about. It's all fluffy. So we'll use that as a bit of tinder. bits. Right. And it went.
going to borrow this tree. Just to make a pot hanger. side cut a notch the opposite way. Roughly like that. And then this one. in the ground. a tip on this end that's a flat tip, not a point. Dinner tonight, we got spaghetti bolognese that I dehydrated, and we're gonna pop it in here. That's about half full. water and hang him up. Ah. The stick's bent the wrong way. Try that with a different one. Yeah. 
first pot hanger was not going to be strong enough. The branch was a little bit bent. I don't want to lose my dinner to the fire. So just found one with a natural hook in it rather than a carved hook. And if I can just cut something this end. like thus and hopefully we won't lose our dinner because that would be a disaster okay, so wedge that in the ground with a, a V shape there and then this one is going to pin that way Hopefully, that will be quite stable enough. Yeah, it's not going anywhere. Cool. So we're just going to go down, find the river and get some water and uh, someone's found a swing. Yee! So we're taking a break here for a minute and then we'll get water. And I think we've got about an hour till it's dark. It's half seven now. I think it's due to be dark about half past eight. So I've had a little break from doing this, I had most of August off, um, which was nice. We went to France obviously, some of you might have seen the France video that I made, just for, just for fun. But um, yeah, we had a good time there, and then the rest of August I've just been lounging about, reading books and stuff, and you know, spending time with the family while the kids are off. But now we're back at it, and uh, yeah, I say it's the. Uh, I said earlier it's the end of the um, summer holidays now, so Pip's going back to school soon. So I just thought we'd have a oh, thought we'd have a camp before uh, before she's back at school and the weather turns cold. She won't be cold tonight because she's in my big military sleeping bag. Oh dear. Yeah, these woods are pretty. I'm busy. Are you ready yet? Uh, no. I'm no. busy. I might need you to lift me off because every other time I whack myself in the arm.
done the water run just making our way back to camp following this track the sun is dipping below the horizon so we've got to get a wiggle on and we're starving our food was cooked just about I just pulled it to one side when we left but uh, yeah oh, it was further than I thought to the river so we're uh, we're marching back on the heat for a minute. Oh yeah, it's actual spaghetti. Mm. Face full of smoke. Yeah. Start you off with that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, start me off. I mm. started blowing it. And that's good. It was only the outside that was cool. Whew, that's better. Something in our tummies. Mm hmm. Mmm. So I said we're done for the night, I think. Mm. Got water, got food. S'mores to do. I'm weird, I don't really like s'mores. <laughs> Too much sugar. But I'll eat it. So we've just got to keep the fire going long enough to toast marshmallows and then we'll let it burn out. Mmm. <sighs> We have now eaten spaghetti was delicious. Dad is setting up my bed a bit better. What head do you what end do you want your head? Uh that way? Oh uh, yeah, next to Tink. We're about to have s'mores. I'm not too sure if Dad is still hungry. Are you? What, Dad? You still hungry? I could eat s'mores. Oh, yeah, at that point. 
Dad, it always has room for s'mores. Just chilling now. Waiting for Dada. Do you want me to make some sticks? Um, oh, that's the point. We do need some, don't we? I bought a little kit. How many do you want on your... Just one. Which one? Is that one? That one? Yeah, I like that one. I only want one because I'm not that big of a fan of marshmallows. I think I'm going to do one of each because oh. I'm a fatty. <laughs> Tink's out for the count over there. She is fast asleep. These have flour on them. It's ice and sugar. Oh, doesn't it taste like ice and sugar? Alright, come on then, you've got to lean forward. <laughs> I'm on your mat. I know. <laughs> <coughs> nope, now Samson, Samson's on it. It's hot on the knuckles, isn't it? Keep your knuckles down below the thing. They're in someone's mouth. Two, please. <laughs> They're in someone's mouth. <laughs> <laughs> <It went. laughs> this is why I like one. Love it. Uh. Flaming glory. Yeah. <laughs> it didn't splatter. Ah, oh, the stick's hot. Ha. You can go. I'm waiting to cheers it with you. Oh. Yeah, ha. Stick, I'll stick them in there so we can use them again if needs be. Yeah, just cheers it with me. Well, we have to use. Cheers. <laughs> Oh, all over my leg. <laughs> you have extra clothes? I'm all sticky. No, I don't. Wow. Excuse me. Mm. Ah, ah, drippy. The chocolates are drippy dropping. Look. Nice, eh? Um... You ate almost all the pink ones. I had one. Oh. I think you had two. No, a pink one and a white one. Which one do you like better? Pink or white? I like pink because it's my colour. <laughs> so, Bethany, pink's so my colour. Mm, well. <laughs> <laughs> I oink. <laughs> oh, I got my hair in it. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> I'm getting in bed. Pip's in her hammock. Hello. Like royalty. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, that hurt. Oh, right on the head. Right. Oh, hello. Oh. Tink's got no sleeping bag tonight because it's still summer but I just put my down jacket over her keep her warm and that's it, we're done so I'll say goodnight goodnight Pip
Night, night. See you in the morning. Again. Sorry. <laughs> oh. You okay? Mm-hmm. Hat on still. He's under the coat. Oh. Morning. Well, there uh, it's uh, five to eight, and um, we had a bit of a broken up night. It wasn't feeling very well. That's, yeah, I think she just ate her food too quick because we were very hungry. But uh, yeah, it's um, forecast for rain. And I think it's just starting. I've just felt some drops. So uh, we're not going to hang around this morning. I did bring pancake mix, but I think the weather's going to turn in the next hour. Um, so we're going to pack up and head home for breakfast and stay dry. And, uh, we have a kip on the sofa. I just feel a bit puffy. Yeah, I, was, I didn't sleep till late, and uh, we, uh, we woke up a few times in the night. But it's okay. But yeah, so I'm going to pack up, bury my fire and ship ourselves out, hopefully before the heavy rain starts and then we'll get some uh, we'll get some breakfast at home right, let's do it let's do it man do it Got home just in time, really. It's uh, it's chucking it down now. Poor Pip. Sorry, it was a bit of a rushed. Uh, it was a bit of a rush morning. Um, Pip was throwing up at three o'clock in the morning, and then again at about four. And she had <coughs> tummy ache and stuff. I think she'd gone in now to throw up again because driving back she was saying it hurt and stuff so uh, that's no fun for her so we had to do a swift exit and I'm kind of glad really because it's pouring now and um, if we'd have left it another half an hour I think we'd have been caught in this walking and uh, she was miserable enough walking in the dry weather but anyway as I say thanks again for watching and uh, we'll see you soon